Hello, 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 Virgo. Happy birthday. If your birthday is today, September the 22nd. I hope that you all have fun this weekend. Please drink responsibly. Okay. And please, 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 by all means, be safe. What's your message for your birthday? It's your birthday. It's your birthday. This is the end of Virgo season. So after this reading, I'm going to follow it up with an overall energy read for all of us for um, Virgo season. Okay. End of season Virgo read after this. Spirit, so give us a message for Virgo, September the 22nd birthday. What's your message? Hmm. I have the nine of wands and I have the five of cups. I hear some of you just made the birthday for September 22nd. I feel like somebody who was born 1259 or close to 1259, September the 21st. So you're just right there. Okay. So if you were, watch that reading from yesterday. It's about a relationship. It's about uh, love, greater love, but also self-preservation okay or you may just relate to that reading in general okay september 22nd birthday reading for virgo we have this l and the c those could be your initials and we got e l c and e mm, maybe somebody has head lice check your kids they may have head lice okay i got oh oh leo so you could be dealing with the leo uh, the emperor or the empress could be dealing with a Leo. Your, one of your children may be a Leo and they may have um, hair lice. So watch out for that. So we could, um, could be your initials though. L, C, I hear Lacey. We don't have an A, but I, I, I hear uh, Lacey. I don't have an I, but I'm also hearing I, I, Isaac or Ike. Ike, Ike. Uh, Isaac and Lacey. Okay, you could be dealing with a Leo, or your last your last name could be Cole. We can go anywhere with this. Okay, we got Leo, or the name Cole, or Tone Loke, <laughs> Cole, C O L E. It could be your last name. Um, maybe you like Tone Loke. Um. Mm, I don't know that guy's name. Um, can I get big butts and I cannot lie? Hmm, maybe you like rap music from back in the day. Baby Got Back. Okay, that's the song I'm hearing for you, Virgo. Baby Got Back. Okay. Maybe you got a lot of booty. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Got a lot of boogie, booty, got a lot of booty, and somebody has a cake in the oven, possibly literally, while you're getting you're getting ready to have a baby. I feel you here you you were treated unfair by somebody. Um, they said something to you, it really hurt your feelings, and you you are all up in your all up in your emotions about it. It's like uh, you know, I can't believe this person said this. You know, it was you know I'm gonna clarify. Um, which one do I, okay. Let's see, what happened? What, what has you tossing and turning and can't sleep? I like that, this person was very angry. I got the strength core right here though. Um, you could be definitely dealing with a, ver uh, I'm sorry, a Leo. I feel like this is some sort of argument by this person. You know, they, uh, possibly have, if you know what their, uh, birth chart is, they possibly have Virgo. I'm just, I keep saying Virgo. They may have Virgo in their chart. They could have Leo in two place, two placements in their chart. Hell, if not more. Uh, I feel like this, you and this person just don't get along, but you love this person. It could be a family, friend, a uh, lover, uh, whatever. Um, but I feel like this person said something to you that really, really hurt your feelings. And you're just figuring like, Dad, you know, I can't believe they would say this to me. Or I can't believe they would do this to me. It's like they, they have some nerve, you know. I'm hearing they were very crass and, and negative about what they said. And, and it, it got to you. It, you know, they think that they want to overtake you. That they want to run you. You can't run me. I'm a Virgo. You got to watch yourself. 
Okay. So whatever it is that they said to you, it may be two or more people, but I feel like this person don't know how to shut the hell up. They don't know how to keep their damn mouth closed. Okay. Shut up. You know, they, they, they have diarrhea of the mouth. They don't have any kind of self-control or whatsoever. And I feel like they're not as responsible as they want to be, or as they claim to be. So maybe you got into it with this person about something. I'm hearing something or the other. It's, it's always something. It's like you, you just don't mix with this person. You like oil and water. You just don't mix. What's the fight about? I'm hearing this person. With, this person is cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Nope. Coo, they cuckoo for. They are cuckoo for motherfucking cocoa puffs. That's what I'm hearing. Um, you don't. It's, it's like you, you're trying to give this person advice about the person they're hanging around. Okay. Possibly if they want to move in with somebody, you're trying to tell them don't do it. Um, you're just jealous. You know, you have your own opinion. You can say what you want to say, but I'm still going to be with this person. I'm still going to do what I want to do. But this person is very, very uh, cruel to them. I feel like you're trying to keep this person on a straight and narrow, narrow about a relationship they're in. You know, sometimes when people ask you for advice, they don't always follow it. They're going to follow what's, what's in their heart. That's why sometimes in my personal readings, uh, you ask me a certain question or whatever, and I always say, look, watch to the beat of your own drum, just listen to the beat of mine. Because then at the end of the day, you're going to do what your heart tells you. Your heart is going to lead you. So I feel like this person said something to you. Stay out of my fucking business. You know, it ain't your business what I do. But, you know, that you, you're you giving that person advice like this person's not good for you. You may think this person is is, is in your life to love you. And they may, may, may marry, they, they, they I can't say it, they may very well love Love you okay yeah they do you know but at what cost you know they pay the cost to be the boss and they're gonna act the f like it okay and you may not like what they do they're very authoritative they're very opinionated like you not is what what they told you you know um i feel like they they are you know a starter you know a little a little too uh too straight and narrow no not really straight and narrow a little bit too domineering possibly a type a personality i feel like this person you said something to this person and it just it went out it went the wrong way you know they did they didn't like what it is you said or what it is that you suggested okay and it should you know what i tell you to do is just don't worry about it you know that person has other options they don't see okay because they're so focused on that man or they're so focused on that on that woman <clears throat> another thing that person possibly has a lot of money okay or they have a stable life where they don't have to worry about the bills so i feel like that's why they're with this person and they they kind of know that this person is not good for them but you know don't be upset for the, for the things that you said to this person or that you felt the need to say out of your heart you just care about this person you love this person you want you care about their well-being and they're too stuck in love stupid in love to understand what it is you're trying to say okay so you don't worry about it don't don't let this cause you to miss your sleep to turn your hair gray just let it go mm -mm. nope you know whatever they said to you it hurt all right this person just hurt you, said something, and you felt that it was unfair. You know, you asked for my advice whether you, or my opinion, whether you asked for it or not. I'm giving it. I'm telling you what I see. I'm telling you what I feel. This person ain't good for you. Let it go, okay? Because in the end, I'm just giving you advice, all right? I don't want you coming back to me, calling me, texting me, knocking on my fucking door, saying, can you help me? No, because I'm going to mind my own business like you told me to do. I'm minding my business, and I'm leaving yours alone. If you don't want to hear the truth... <laughs> Too bad. Don't worry about it. Because in the end, okay, we all had that three of cups. All of your motherfucking heart and stuff is going to spill in the gutter. That person's going to get to the point to where they don't want you to communicate with anybody. They don't want you to talk to anybody. It's just them. Okay? So all that love you have for that person, everything you're going to get to the point to where you're going to end up regretting, okay, not listening to me and not follow, following your self-judgment. Okay, that's something this person needs to do. They kind of know that this person is not right for them, but it's all about the Benjamins for them. It's all about finding stability in their life. They don't want to listen to shit you have to say. Okay, so stay out of it like they said. You know, they may say, can you help me get out of this relationship? Can you help me come over here and pack so we can move away while this stupid ass person's at work? No, you told me to stay the F out of it, and that's exactly what I want to do. Call a motherfucking Uber. Okay. You ain't gonna deal with this. You don't have to deal with this. If they don't want to listen to you, fine. So be it. Don't keep your keep your opinions to yourself. 
and let them figure it out on their own, okay? Because when this person gets sick and tired of being battered and bruised and, and just treated uh, disres in a disrespectful way, I I'm hearing more so about this person being treated uh, it's being mentally abused, not physically abused, though possibly, but more so mentally. It's about all about that person tapping into their energy and making them feel less than who they truly are. I'm hearing this person is very putrid, okay? I see P here. This person has a very warped sense of authority, okay? You can't run me. You cannot run me. And I feel like this person, uh, who they're with is going to take them down, you know, and going to make them feel low. You just tell them something for their own good, but mm -mm, let it go. Let's get some final message for your birthday. Stay out of it, Virgo. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Yep. Mm -mm. Let it go. Because you're holding on to this a little bit too tight. You need to move on. You need to say, F it. I'm done. It's like, let it go, because they said something to you, or it, they're so bullheaded, they're not going to want to listen to what it is you have to say. Don't. Bounce. Go on ahead and mind your own business. Take your butt to sleep. Sleep good, and not because you're not having to worry about what, what they're going through or worrying about how they're being treated. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to I'm gonna get you a high vibe card to close you out. This advice card. We're going to hope you have a beautiful weekend. And enjoy your birthday. Don't let this person, don't or don't allow this critter to mess up your weekend. Okay? High vibration attractions. I got low vibes. They came out in the last reading, though. But this one, we have high vibes. High vibe attractions. Attract high vibrations to yourself. Round around the house. Run around the house excited about life. Doing so Doing so puts the law of attraction to, in play. When you want something good to happen to you, moping around the house and complaining will not get you closer. Get excited about something. Pretend to be excited about something. To This raises your vibration, makes you feel good inside, and naturally attracts other high-vibing energy. So, yep, this person it wants to stay in that low-vibe energy. Let them, okay? Let them stay there. Misery loves company. And you don't need that company in your life. Things that lower your vibration. Judgment, criticism, worry, self-judgment, and being unkind. Pay attention to what you are saying. Focus on the good things happening around you. Nobody is perfect. Be gentle with yourself and try saying in a positive, hopeful way. And stop and try saying it in a positive, hopeful way. And that's the way. It's like this is this is energy for you and them. Okay. Uh, they feel like you've judged them, you criticized them, now you're worried about their well-being. Um, this person doesn't practice self-judgment. It's like you try to help them person, this person, but they think you're being unkind. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but you need to focus on the good things happening around you. Nobody is perfect. Not you, not them, and not the jackass they're with. Let it go. Okay? You ain't got to worry about them no more. If they told you to stay out of their business or they don't need your advice on anything, F them. Don't call me when you when you sick or don't uh, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Don't call me when reality knocks you on your other fucking head. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't do shit. Okay. Now, if something going on with you, if you need some blood, if we got the same blood type, I use some blood. But other than that, mm -mm. don't worry yourself sick. Got body movement. Moving your body this dissipates stagnant energy and, and increases your vibration walk run swim dance any type of movement just do it just don't make a move to contact them they're gonna need you before you need them okay you better believe that got someone new coming into your life to walk to talk someone someone talk to someone new even the simplest connections increase your feeling of community and trust Ask a stranger their name. Ask them a question about themselves. It will bring a smile to their face, which will increase your vibe. Okay? Drop the dead weight. They don't want you in their business. Stay out of their business. M-Y-O-B. They want you mind your own business. Mind your own business. And stay out of their face. Stay out of their energy. Because they're lowering your vibration. Let them be the, the F-ups they're going to be. But move on. Because you need to get some rest. Let them go. You know, pray about it. Pray about their well-being and leave it at that. Okay, stop giving them advice if they don't want to hear it. Let them experience what you're talking about. And when they do, damn, Virgo was right. Okay, happy birthday. Don't let this shit spoil your thunder. Don't let this stuff spoil your weekend. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself. Take a, take a load off and stop worrying so much and get some sleep. All right?
It's out to you later. Hmm. I'm hearing something about maybe some medicine. I don't know. It's goody. It's like a like a instead of pills, it's it's more so like a powder that you put on your tongue. I think that that will help you get rid of some sort of pain that you need, like quick pain or something like that. I'm hearing that for somebody. Okay. Are finding some quick dissolving tablets for your pain relief. Okay. Talk to you later.